What's up travelers? Welcome to episode 3 of this Economy Week. Today it's another Cathay Pacific review, the A350 which they use on many long haul flights nowadays. So this is a very exciting one. It's a great opportunity that you can fly it between Singapore and Bangkok as well. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the review. Alrighty, welcome again to part two of my Cathay Pacific Economy Week reviews. This flight departed from Singapore Changi's brand new Terminal 4, which is an amazing and quite empty terminal. Just like the terminal, the flight was quite empty, but even so, the service was impeccable. Upon boarding, a crew member guided me all the way to my seat, and that doesn't happen often in economy. Cathay's A350 seat is great. It has generous legroom, the padding is good, and there is storage, which is always nice in economy. And Cathay do this really stylish, maybe a little bit wasteful thing where they package the in-flight magazine so you know whether it's new or not. And then we have the exact same headphones pretty much on Cathay as we had on Thai. Honestly, I don't mind not having a foot rest as long as this area is soft so that I can get my legs under because it was so frustrating on Thai not being able to. In addition to the pillow waiting at the seat, the crew came around proactively offering everyone blankets. Alright, let's see. I have this little pillow which has a stain on it. <laughs> Oh wow, this is super comfy. The leg room is great. Uh, although there is a little entertainment box down here. But now we're reclined as well. Um, let's see, back to normal. And we have very good leg room. Or quite good, at least. We have a tablet holder up here, our tray table, but yeah it's great to have this, we have a little more storage up there, um, and again power ports. So then check this headrest out, it is adjustable in many ways. This nice, pretty standard armrest, no remote to bump against, making sure I'm just as far back on Cathay's A350 as I was on the other airlines. Anyhow, we departed Singapore on time for Bangkok and soon enough, the meal service began. My meal was the best so far on Cathay. As usual, it was vegetarian. The regular options were fish with rice or chicken with pasta. Somehow, I feel there's a certain class to Cathay that it didn't feel on Thai, which is a shame. Or, I guess good for Cathay. At this point, I'd flown Cathay Pacific almost every month, or actually every month, for three months in a row, so I knew the entertainment system. I was sad to see they hadn't updated any TV shows in that time, so if you fly them frequently, the selection must get quite bland, even though I said the entertainment selection was quite good in my last video. So conclusions, 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 how was my flight with Cathay Pacific and what do I think of them overall? Now, of course, I didn't try them on a true long haul flight, which is unfortunate, but I got to try their aircraft and 
overall, I think they are a great airline. Their A350 is beautiful, the seat is fantastic, the food is good. To some extent, they aren't as luxurious as they could be. Stay tuned for my Singapore Airlines review in a couple of days to see what I mean by that. But I would definitely fly Cathay Pacific again intra Asia. I think they are one of the best carriers. And a little comment about Hong Kong Airport since I haven't included that footage in these videos, I'll men talk about it a little more in the final comparison. But basically, it is one of my favorite airports to transit in Asia. I'd say I like it a little more than Bangkok. It's just super efficient, immigration is good, security is good, everything is top notch there. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed that. As I said last time, if you want to redeem miles on this route, it is such a good value given how expensive Cathay Pacific tickets are, especially if you're going one way. So right now you can earn British Airways miles with a 40% bonus when you transfer from American Express in the US. So if you have points there, Seriously consider that you can get great values on Qatar other airlines I'm thinking of even doing a dedicated video on British Airways redemptions for my how to do what I do series And if you don't have an American Express card like I said last time you can get 15,000 points by signing up through my referral link below I really appreciate it and that will get you 21,000 British Airways avios to redeem on a free card, which is a great value so Thanks so much for watching as always guys, and until I see you all next time, fly safe.